In this video, I'm gonna share with you my top five Squarespace hacks. They are super simple things that you can do with Squarespace to make your life a lot easier and your website a lot better. So I am a Squarespace authorized trainer and Squarespace expert. Those are their words, not mine. Uh, but I work in Squarespace every day, all day and have for the past five or six years. So a lot of these things I figured out just because I use Squarespace all the time. Um, and these things are easy, but if you are doing your own website or new to Squarespace, these are things that might be hiding that you don't know about. So my first one is my favorite one, and that is to enable the escape key to log into your website. So to get to the back end of your website, to be able to edit it, maybe you're going to account.squarespace.com, clicking on your site, and then you can go edit it. But if you enable the escape key, you can just go to any page on your website, the live view, hit escape, and it will prompt you to log in. And if you're already logged in, it'll just take you right to this sidebar here. So to enable this, go into your settings, and I switched over here to my record label fave template um, because this is a 7.1 site. My website is a 7.0, 7.0 site. So over here, move my face, come into advanced, and then you're going to click on escape key right here. And then click enable login with escape key. So all you have to do is go to your website, click escape, and you are logged in. Okay, the next one is the social share image. So whenever you share your website on Facebook or whatever social media, LinkedIn, wherever you wanna share it, it will pop up with a picture. And sometimes it pulls a picture that you don't want it to or it pulls your logo and makes it look like really cropped or stretched. So we're gonna go back to your home dashboard, click on design and then social sharing. And you, it says add a social logo. So a lot of people add their logo and that's when it crops your logo and looks all funny. Honestly, I would take the main picture on your homepage and just drop the picture in there. So when you share your website, the preview has this nice picture of you or whatever and um, whatever picture you want to use. And then um, the title and description of your website. So for this website, I would take this photo of this person, put it right here. And when I share it on social media, this picture will pop up. Not only will it look nice, but it will be very cohesive and on brand and consistent for this website. Okay. My number three is how to avoid your text from hyphenating. Again, back over to my record label fave. I do this on my website too, but it'll be easier to show you here. Again, in design and custom CSS, this code right here, I will put it in the description so you can copy and paste it. But basically what this means is for heading one, heading two, heading three, for your paragraphs, my need to add heading four, because now that's a thing on Squarespace. Um, don't hyphenate my text. So let's say this paragraph right here. Um, if I didn't have this code in, and let's say like one of these longer words was at the end of a line, it would hyphenate it. Um, this especially happens on mobile and it looks not so good. So just copy, paste this into your custom CSS and your text will not hyphenate. Before I get into my next tip, I want to tell you really quickly about my Squarespace SEO little mini course. In this course, I walk you through how to do a free audit of your website. And then I go through and show you how to correct and update everything to get the best score possible out of your website so that you can better show up in search results and have people find you online. I will put the link to this in the description below, or you can just see it and copy it from here. But basically what we go over is the SEO test. We then dive in in the meta specifications, page quality, site structure, external factors, and then just additional advice from me on how to improve various different aspects of your website. So. If these hacks are helpful, these SEO tips for me will be very helpful for your website. So thank you and let's get back to the tips. Button sizing. I am gonna show you my code for this one. Design custom CSS again. Right here I've got for my small and my medium buttons. Um, let's see if I can find if I open up my homepage here, I'm just going to open it in a new tab so we don't lose our list over here. 
you can see I've got a view services button here and let's find another one of the blue ones browse tutorials and then down here I've got my small buttons DIY template styling and custom you can see there's a lot of space around the DIY um, normally Squarespace by default will just make the button the size of whatever your text is but I thought it looked kind of clunky to have like a small DIY button like a, a big template styling and then a medium width custom button so I set the code as you can see over here um, to make all of my medium buttons which are my blue ones 170 pixels and my small ones which are the black outline ones 140 pixels so that is how I like to make it my site just look I don't know I think it looks more professional when you do that honestly so Squarespace hack number four make your buttons all the same size and my last tip is also how to avoid looking like you have a DIY Squarespace website the first thing I guess this is kind of like six tips the first thing is to add a favicon so a favicon as you can see I have a little DTR icon up here the record label fave is just a black box and that is the Squarespace default so if you do not add a favicon to your website it's going to have this black box and anybody like me who knows Squarespace goes to your website and sees that black box I personally am like mm, that's not very professional they don't know what they're doing either they did this themselves or hired someone for cheap so to add your favicon again come into logo and title and right here browser icon it just needs to be a tiny like i do 50 by 50 pixels something that can stand out when it is that tiny um, add that there to replace the black box and you will be good to go the other thing that really makes you stand out as having done your own website is if you keep powered by Squarespace in the footer of your website. Um, so over here on my record label fave, if we edit and come down to the footer, hover over the footer, if it'll let us move my face, edit footer, you can change whatever is in your Squarespace template down here at the bottom. You can delete the box do whatever just like you would on a page you do not have to keep the powered by squarespace line there i recommend putting your name or your brand the copyright of the year and making it look much more professional um, and on brand so those are my five tips or hacks tricks whatever you want to call them to help you use squarespace and make your website look much more professional and put together so again Enable the escape key to make it easier on yourself to log in. Add that social share image to make it look good on other platforms online. Make your text not hyphenate with that CSS code that I will link for you in the description. Um, I will also put the button sizing um, CSS code in the description so you can make your buttons all the same size, um, the same width. And put your favicon in there and customize your footer. So if this was helpful, give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one.